Today we will get to make Budoge prettier. We'll achieve this by customizing the notes icon. Not only will this make Budo prettier, but also improve your overall productivity as everything feels much more organized in the hierarchy window. Now let's start. First of all, let me do a quick project overview so that we get a better idea of how this exactly works. So as I told you, the idea of this is modifying the notes icons. Um, so for example, this is actually a control node, as you can see there it says type control. I will actually instead of having the normal icon of a control node, it has this icon over here. Actually, modifying these icons is super simple, okay? You just have to attach a new script to it. And here use the icon attribute and load in some icon that you may have downloaded from the internet, okay? You can use literally any image, any icon that you can find, okay? And on the internet, there are tons of full, complete icon packs that contain hundreds and hundreds of icons that can uh, look quite well inside of the Godot editor. Then, um, in other scene, I have this node to the scene that has a little bit more nodes. So, this is the node to the uh, node. That's well, the icon is uh, this to the node, this to the icon, sorry. Uh, this is the player, that is a character body, and there's actually a, a character icon over there. The collision shape, I just use this one, okay? Um, the good thing is that customizing this is super simple, super handy. So, this is just a quick example, and the sprite, I use this kind of art icon okay the third scene i have is a no 3d scene um so in this case i use some kind of box locator to simulate a, a 3d space and finally i um put everything together in the same scene that i named the main and i put there a folder icon um i will basically i instantiated these uh, three scenes over there i actually just copied and pasted the scenes so basically this is the result that you are going to be achieving uh, by the end of this video in a quite easy way. Now in terms for importing the icons, as I was telling you, basically you can use any kind of icon that you find out there on the internet or that you even create on your own. In this case, um, this is quite an interesting icon pack that uh, you can check out that has over 400 uh, icons. It's completely free in each .io and its license basically will allow you to use it for any of your uh, projects at no cost at all okay for this example i'm going to use in this pack but feel free to even create your own one or research maybe some that you may find uh, on the internet so here basically go ahead download the file extract the zip file and you can import them as in any project as if they were just some kind of a sprite now how can you actually use them in a real project so as i told you how to make sure that first you have there your asset pack imported and i will go ahead and add some kind um of note that maybe some kind of uh, icon could be helpful for example i have here a button so I will create a button again this will apply to any kind of node that you may want to use and uh, instead of here i will attach a brand new script to it and as simple as this i, pro I advise you to add this line uh on top of the extends but i think that you can basically add it where wherever and you will um there write the icon attribute and instead of here you can just uh, drag and drop the the icon that you want to be using okay uh now let's save this scene okay oh, well it seems that nothing actually happened but if you for example add a new scene or go to other scene whatever um and you come back here well this seems like it wants to update so let's try it one more time sometimes this may not work so let's close the scene and now yes as you can see here the it was updated and there we see the icon okay so these are the basics in order to modify the icons feel free to adjust them create your own etc now i actually have created a custom icon and i want to show you how you can do this so actually the icon here is uh, it's not super stylish or anything it's actually super simple um it is like this so i want to show you how you can actually uh, create a custom icon for your own node so first of all i actually use this icon inside of a scene that it was the node 
uh, 3D scene or something like that was called. No 3D. So actually here, as this is a 3D scene, this icon would suit quite well. So let me drag and drop it over here. I will save the changes and um, now I will close this scene. And then here I will have it, okay? So now for you to actually create these uh, kinds of images, you may want to use any kind of pixel art software such as 8 sprites, okay? And you will create a new file that the size is 32 by 32, okay? And inside of this canvas, you will be able to draw anything that you really want. Um, and finally, uh, you will be able to uh, basically export it, okay? As a PNG file. And once again, you will basically um, import it inside of your good old project and use it over here. Finally, I also wanted to give some credits uh, for this person okay, that I found this video quite useful and I wanted to share it with you. I may have given deeper explanations, for example, in terms of creating your own uh, custom icons. Um, but well, the, the core of the video is the exact same one. Uh, but anyway, I thought that this was actually quite helpful and I didn't know that you could do this. Uh, so I thought it was actually worth uh, mentioning this in a completely separate video. Uh, you are going to have uh, his channel and all the corresponding credits to also the asset creator of the pack that I showed in the description as well. So I will see you in the next one and bye bye.